In this video, we're going to do the final steps of what we need to know to do a floor plan. We notice that we have no doors to our rooms, and so if we were to pick these uh, rooms up right now, there'd be no way to get in or out of them. So we're going to change that. We're going to do our standard view again. And we decided we'd measure in three feet to get to our door, and we figured three feet is a good width for a door. So we're going to stretch that over an extra three feet. Once we have this, we can draw in the lines make a couple eraser marks and we'll have an opening so that someone can get in or out of our washroom here. There's our nice little door. For some reason it seems our label has uh, gone missing though. So we're going to try to replace that in there. Okay, I'm not sure why, so I'll just make a new one. Now one thing that's also missing is we need to mark the size of our rooms and we're going to get to that in just a minute. So we also need a door to our living room. We decided we wanted a big 10 foot door and that should be right in the middle. So uh, Aaron had a good idea. He said well if we wanted 10 feet we'd go 48 minus 10 would leave 38. So we'd go 19 from each because 19 is half of 38. So we took our measures and we measured 19 in and 19 in and that gave us our guides for where to cut the walls out. So we're going to make our lines here. We can erase and now we have our openings for how people can get in and out. Now I notice it's starting to get a little gummed up here. We have a lot of uh, dimension lines. So I'm going to go edit delete guides just to clean it up. We also notice that this here, 48, that's not really the dimensions of the wall. So we thought we should get rid of that. And we're going to go back to Tools Dimensions and add in the dimensions of our new walls. Oh dear, that one doesn't seem to be right. Looks like we messed up a little bit. Let's go back. There, that's a better line now. Should be 19. Delete our guides. Add our new dimensions to our new walls, 19 and 19, and we have new walls here, so we're going to measure those out too, and there we are. Now we have our walls, but the one thing that we're missing is we haven't labeled the area of each floor, and that's something that we're going to need to know later, because when we put floors in, we're going to be at a hardware store going, this is how many tiles I need. We need to know these things. So we discussed different ways that this could happen. And one way is we could just go 10 by 10 to figure this dimension out. So I know 10 by 10 is 100, so I'm going to label that. And that's a washroom. And that is 100 feet squared. Now my living room, though, I'm not sure what the living room is like right now. So we decided what we could do is we could think of it like this, where we could have we could think of it as one box plus a second box and figure out the area of each. So we're going to do that. Take away those boxes there. So this box we figured out is 37 by 30. Guys, what was 37 by 30 again? Was it 1110? We figured that was 1110 feet. We also had 19 by 11. And 19 by 11 was 209. So when we added 1,110 and 209, we ended up with 1,319. Am I right? Feet squared. So now we've correctly labeled our living room and our washroom, and we know what the square feet is. The one thing to consider when you're getting flooring though too, you might also have three feet here or ten feet here that you'll have to measure at that point. At this point you now have the skills to build all the major components of your floor plan. If I go back to the standard view top, here is my basic floor plan 
and I still have a lot of house to play with. So at this point, you might want to just mess around, see what kind of walls you can build, get the dimensions in there, and when you're ready, you can start your assignment. Your assignment is you're going to grab a piece of grid paper, design your own ultimate house, and you're going to choose one room that later you're going to be create into the ultimate room. You're going to drop furniture in there, flooring, paint the walls, etc. So those of you who work diligently on this project, you're going to have a really cool house model to walk away with. And then someday when you get a giant 3D printer, you can print it for yourself. Have fun.